Hey, hey, okay, so today I must say I had a lot of fun doing this video and uh, what we're going to cover is adding a LiDAR sensor to our robot. We're going to install ROS2 um, and we are going to bridge Isaac Sim across to ROS2 and then we're going to access the LiDAR data. So, we, we, you know, we've got our little robot and we've got a bunch of uh, objects around the plane and we've got this LiDAR hitting those objects and returning the value back and then we're going to open up a separate little window where we can actually see through the viewport of the LiDAR each of those objects showing up like it were real LiDAR working. So let's jump right in and I'll show you how all of that comes together. Here we go. Okay so next we're going to integrate a 2D LiDAR sensor. So to do that we are going to go to our simple robot and go to the front sensor and right click Actually, we're not going to write this. We can't add it there. We're going to go to create. So what I'm saying here is you can't right click and uh, create. We don't have uh, the right uh, options there. We've actually got to go to create here. And we'll see sensors, uh, physics, LiDAR, and rotating. Okay, and there we've got our LiDAR sensor and let's select it and let's just put it on top of the uh, sensor mount. Okay, next what we've got to do is we've just got to go down to the bottom here for this LiDAR sensor and we've got to activate draw lines and draw points and then we can go ahead and run it. We can see there is our LiDAR so let's just zoom out let's see what it's doing and we can see it's sending out the LiDAR to each of the objects. We can see the LiDAR is actually going through each of the objects it's not actually getting stopped by them see like for example this this cube it's coming right through so what we need to do is we need to select each of these objects so let's do a group select and add physics rigid body with colliders preset and we'll see that will now um, stop the lidar and the lidar will register them so let's go ahead and run this again and we can see now the LiDAR is actually stopping as it hits each of these objects. And if we want to slow down the LiDAR so we can see what it's doing a little bit more uh, specifically, we can go down here and select LiDAR. And we can change the rotation rate, let's say down to 5. And run again, and it's going a bit slower. And if we want it down to, let's say, even 2, then we've got a little bit more granularity of what it's doing. So for the next step, we have to add ROS2. So let's start off just by checking if um, we have a locale that supports UTF-8. So just type in locale and we see we do. So first just go to software and updates and make sure that Ubuntu software universe is enabled. Then we're gonna run, then we're gonna add the ROS2 GPG key with apt. Then we're going to add the repository to our sources list and then update then upgrade and next install the ROS Humble desktop and now we install the ROS dev tools and now we source the setup bash file okay and let's try some examples now and see if everything's working And then in another window, we're going to run a listener. Yeah, it seems to be working nicely. And we can see both the C++ and the Python APIs are working. Okay, so go and type in ROS2 and we see we'll get nothing. But then if we source the setup.bash and then we do ROS2 again, we see it's there and if we list our topics, 
we've got the default ones and now we can go ahead and launch the um, selector and start okay now let's go and load our file that we were working on okay and on the left let's create perspective view and on the right we've got the camera view now we're going to go to window extensions and search for ROS2 and we're going to enable the ROS2 bridge okay so now we're going to set up the LiDAR stream so we're going to go to graphs create visual scripting action graph and let's see where it's created that okay let's drag that action graph into our graphs and let's rename that to ROS2 LiDAR Stream. And we're going to add four nodes to this. So let's right click and open graph. The first node we're going to add is an Isaac Reed LiDAR Beams node. And we drag that across. The next one is a ROS2 Publish Laser Scan node. Pull that across. The next one is an Isaac Reed Simulation Time node. And lastly is an On Playback Tick node. Okay, let's arrange these so it's a little easier to work with. We'll put that one on the right. Simulation Time we'll put up top here. LiDAR Beams node around the middle and the On Playback Tick on the left. Now let's configure the Isaac Reed LiDAR Beams node. And on the LiDAR Prim, we're going to add the target and that will be our LiDAR. Then we select it. And the next thing we do is we've just got to connect up the various properties on the nodes. Depth range horizontal field of view, horizontal resolution, intensities data, linear depth data, num calls, num rows, and rotation rate. And then we're going to do a simulation time through to timestamp, and we're going to put the tick through to the execute in, and we should be ready now. Actually, I forgot one last thing, and we need to change the topic name to Scan LiDAR. Now let's start the simulation, turn on the LiDAR, and we can see there it's going. Now let's open up a new terminal. And let's source our setup bash again. And let's list our topics, and hmm, we are missing our topic here. I see what I did wrong. I have not connected my execute out to execute in. So if we do that and we rerun and we go back to terminal and we list our topics, there we go. Now we've got our scan LiDAR. So what we want to do now is we want to go into Arvis 2 and for the fixed frame, we want to change that to it's going to be this sim LiDAR. And then we, what we want to do next is we want to add, by, we go to by topic, and we want to add from scan, LiDAR, from scan LiDAR, the laser scan. Now we can see the data is being sent back from the LiDAR, but it's very difficult to see with the, the resolution we've got there. So we're going to change that from 0.01 to 0.1. Uh, there we go it's much easier to see what's in front of us and let's just orient ourselves there is the front section we can see we've got a cube there and two spheres now if we go in and we duplicate that cube and move the duplicate to the right we should now see two spheres sorry two cubes and let's go back into others and we can see the next one's going to appear there we go the second one appears and we can orient ourselves to the left and see all the objects and to the right. 
I think that's pretty cool. Okay, thanks for joining me for this uh, interesting video where we uh, implement ROS2. If you are enjoying this content, please consider subscribing. And if you like this video, please go ahead and hit the like button. And I think what I'm gonna do in the next video is go over all the research I've done on putting together the right machine. As I said, I'm struggling a bit with this remote desktop connection and I would like to have an actual physical machine having been in the Mac world for 10 years. I need to buy the right machine with the right graphics card and I'm doing a lot of research so I buy the right one. So I think I'll cover that in the next video. And as always, thanks for watching. Doing this content puts a smile on my face. Ciao.